Hey everyone, welcome to my latest account overview. So, let's start with my distribution. As you can see my might distribution. My troops might is 140 million might. Quests might. Could be a little smaller and also have some extra research might. If I started the account as a trap I'd be way smaller with the same amount of troops and stats. Let's head over to buildings. My buildings. I have full infirmaries. More hospitals for more beds. Currently at 675k beds in the hospital. When at level 25, you get extra 5% HP from each infirmary. I have full hospitals and one barracks for training troops. I have few resource buildings, which are not really necessary. My T4 buildings are still at low level. I'm not working on T4 yet. Battle Hall. I even don't have an altar, but it's good to have them when you have them you get boosts when you need. You get buffs from level 25 prison. At level 25 you get boosts for holding leaders. Let's head to research. Here's my research. My economy research. I'm not working on unlocking T4 on this account. If you want to unlock T4, then just do it. This is also a necessary might. As I mentioned before, I didn't start this account as a trap. I could do army offense level 9. It adds 23% attack. 1.7 million might. And Army Defense adds 1.8 mil might and is not worth it. 3.4 million might in total for just 23% attack. Not at all worth it. Monster Hunt Research. This is a necessary might for a solo trap. I unlock level for monsters which is completely unnecessary for a solo trap. I could have less might. Don't do defense research. Upgrade military research done, till quick swap unlocked. Army leadership research done, until all wedges are unlocked. Unlocked all the wedges. As infantry front I need only infantry wedge. But it is what it is cannot be undone. Military command research done till breakthrough unlocked. It's needed for mythic equipment, which is very vital. Familiar research. Pact 3 familiar unlocked. In familiar battles research has been done until third battle slot. Don't do sigils on a trap. These are no-go zones for solo traps. Let's head to heroes. Full free-to-play heroes. At least on this account, I don't have many unnecessary heroes. This is the only gold and necessary hero. When I started the game, was told that research is very important, so I maxed it first. All free to play heroes. I'm also working on Boomeister for the passive starts which are very good then. These are the heroes. I stopped working on them as soon as I started making the account a solo trap. 
let's head straight to familiars. As a free-to-play player, I need all this, the stars, the base stats. Support skills give you stuff free to play. I'm not working on its army talent. I like gaming gremlin too. Army talent is maxed as I use it on my wall. The mole shaman is also very good. It adds infirmary capacity and extra infantry attack. Also its army talent is maxed because I use it on my wall for defense. Next evil weevil also very good. Very good for defense, free to play, easy to max. This one is max too. I use it on my wall. The rest I use them for their base stats. Extra base stats are nice to have. You can't imagine how it's good to have these familiars. Extra army passive stats. I got Jade from Guildfest. Only 10 more runes needed for upgrade to adult. I have 7% infantry range counter, which is good. You can work on this one too. And that's it for familiars. Next let's head to my troops composition. As you can see I have 10 million troops. 11 million troops. To 0.9 million T3 infantry front. I added a little bit of range and cavalry so that I can handle the massive counters and infantry versus infantry. I don't do siege for walkbacks, because I wonder who said siege prevents walkbacks. Next let's head to my castle skins. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 skins. So here are 2 skins that expire. Good to have them. Then this range skin is looking nice currently at level 6 free to play. Just a little star scroll gambles here and there. Another range skin. Next let's see my wall heroes and familiars. It's an infantry front. Heroes for my infantry front line. I have two infantry heroes. Oath Keeper and Demon Slayer. Each gives 50% HP. So, in total I get 100% HP for my frontline. Also each gives 30% attack. So I get 60% attack for my frontline. Then I have two range heroes. And one cavalry hero, which has army attack. Let's go to the familiars I use on my wall. I use Gemming Gremlin. Mole Shaman. And this one. Very good one for infantry front. You can also use Evil Weevil. We'll see which ones are the best later on. Let's head to the artifacts. On this account, I was so unlucky with artifacts. In the King's Journey, only one artifact unlocked. These other two are far from done. I have only one out of the top three artifacts. On this account, I'm not working on Fury artifacts. 
Let's see my stats from artifacts. The passive stats. I have more cavalry attack, almost 40%. Then the stats with leader. Not much fury stats. Now let's head to gear and stats. Here is my war gear. My firewall plate is close to mythic. Only two more. Only two more gold blueprints. Very close to my first gold cup. Only four more halos. I'll replace Lunar Scrimitar with Mitz once at gold. 